So I was thinking about what kind of video I should do and I didn't want to do another tag and I didn't really have any more beauty related ideas to make videos from. So I decided to go around my room and pick five things. All of these things have a story behind it. I'm not sure if you're going to learn more about me because doing these videos as many as I have made. I haven't been very personal and you don't really know much about me, but here are some of these random fun facts of my life and my past and my childhood. So we're going to start off with the first thing. This is probably a dinosaur to many of you. This is a mini iPod and this used to be my life back in the day. I got this at the end of fifth grade as my present for getting straight A's for the entire year. And I didn't even get A minus. I got like A's and A plus and, and I was so proud of myself. My parents got this for me and I have never really been into music that much but I took very very good care of this and to this day I can't even find a couple scratches because I kept it in such good condition and it sits in my little dish chair like this next to my bed even though I don't use it anymore. I think it's just so cute. Okay, so the next thing, we're going even further back. This is Barry, and you can see he is in really, really, really good condition. I got him, I can almost remember the date, November of 2002. So it's been so long, so, so long. And this was my best friend. I could tell you the story about this. And it happened, like, at night. My dad came home from work and he's like, I have a friend for you. And I didn't know what he was saying. I thought he said fan. And I looked into the seat and in the seat was this bear strapped in to the car seat. So I, of course, had like a freak attack and I just ran for this and I still love it. It's still so, so soft. You could probably tell. And... He got this for me because the week before, I think he got this at Pathmark or something, I saw this bear and I absolutely loved it, but my mom wouldn't let me get it. So he went after work the week after and he got it for me. And this bear means so much to me. And it sits on my bigger dish chair on the side with a couple other stuffed animals. But this is my most sentimental stuffed animal. And I love him. Okay, so another thing. This is from third grade. And it is a wooden... I don't know what you would call it. It's all dusty and everything. But my third grade teacher, she had a tradition where at the end of the year she would give every single kid their own wooden name because her dad is like a wood maker or something. And she stopped giving them after my grade. And... I keep this, I don't know if you can see, right up there on my desk, right in the middle, I always keep it there. Maybe if you look back on some of my old videos, you can see. And this has been there forever, ever since I got it in third grade, so it's been a while. And I just think it's really, really special that a teacher would do that and give it to every single student. So, that's that. And then another thing, I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this in a video, of my obsession with Hilary Duff. Now, I just bought this to symbolize my fandom of her. I love Hilary Duff ever since Liz McGuire and everything. She is such a good role model, and I wish that she would, like, make her come back a little more and be more in the spotlight, but she is happily married. I'm so happy for her, and I realize that her music isn't the best but she has so much going for her and she's just like such a great role model and I always am very very interested in her life and everything I sound like such a stalker but I have posters and albums CDs everything from her okay so the last thing is this metal now this metal, I have three of them, and I have one in bronze, silver, and gold. And this is from FCCLA. It's a competition where you compete in different events, and I have done the interior design and life planning event 
and I've only done it for two years. It's part of like a school club organization and what you do is you go to your national conference and you compete and then you get a medal. Usually bronze is like an automatic win but you have to work for the silver and the gold and I've gotten one of each. So that has been a big part of my life too. It's takes a lot of creativity and I don't know if a lot of people know this about me but I love doing projects I love doing posters I am a very very creative person very hands-on I don't necessarily draw but I can build you something that is beautiful and I would love to do something like that in the future although my designated medical career does not really allow for that but I hope that in the future I can do something that has to do with beautifying places and being an interior designer or a makeup artist and something with the beauty fashion industry. I would love that. But at the same time, the whole medical thing, I don't know, it's just very, very confusing. I'm like venting my life right now. So, yeah, those are the five things. And I hope that it gives you more of a sense of who I am. I'm not just like about looking good all the time and you know doing all of these beauty videos. I don't know it just makes me feel so superficial sometimes and I go around I live in a place where everyone is very very materialistic and everyone has to look their best and I think that has affected me in some way and I kind of forget my childhood and what I have become and everything along the way to who I am now and it's really important to just look back on all of the things that make up who you are so yeah that's such a long video but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon